So here we have a very special display here at the Voxy Box. The Voxy Box, the world's first 3D holographic PC. So who are you? I'm Will, I'm the COO, um, and uh, yeah, I'm one of the founders. So what is going on here? Something is uh, the Voxy Box is uh, a swept volume display, so there's actually a, a uh, proprietary membrane that we've uh, made in-house that's moving up and down really fast, and then we've got our own custom-made uh, uh, projection engine that is actually uh, spitting out thousands of frames a second. And so you can, you can use the VoxyBox for anything from uh, visualizing any sort of 3D model to um, uh, engineering or, or CAD or entertainment. Um, let's reset these guys. All right. So I try or to... you can use it to play games. So it's, uh, it's actually, is it a holograph or not? Well, the technical word hologram means hologram, a, yeah. a, a very specific thing. But in terms of the popular culture, we regard it as a holographic display. But what's different between this and another type of hologram? So um, a hologram is a, a traditional hologram is a, a perspective of a 3D scene. It's actually rendered in 3D, whereas this is actually the entire scene being rendered. So the word hologram comes from the Greek for whole picture, and this is actually a whole, the whole picture. So it's actually more holographic than holograms. I mean, that's just semantics, though. The thing is, but it's awesome. But it does uh, kind of like uh, it has to flicker somehow, right, for this to work. Uh, we, the, the flicker is a um, is caused by the, the the volume refresh rate, and it's one of the things that we're going to be uh, uh, we know how to fix as soon as we've got some uh, capital. Really? That's one of the first things we're going to do. Yeah. How? That's uh, uh, by making the screen move faster, the, the projection material move faster, and increasing the volume refresh rate. Nice. So, uh, what is a uh, possibility with this? Can it be bigger? Yeah, we can, can make it be... bigger, absolutely, yeah. So, so what uh, is this size here? So this size is about the size of an iPhone. Um, and, um, like an iPhone 6? Yeah, about that. But the 6 next, Plus? Yeah, the next next version is probably going to be about the size of an iPad. Um, it's just a convenient way of sort of discussing without giving specific dimensions. Nice, so so this is your technology? Yes, that is You're correct. You're making this. And how long have you been doing this? Well, it started... Well, in terms of the whole team, the whole team started 30 years ago with Alan Jackson in the New York Science Museum. He made a display for them, he used a, some lasers and some really cool technology. And uh, then about eight years ago, uh, in a backyard shed in Australia, me and my mate, my, my, my mate Gav and I decided to invent something crazy. We thought, hey, that's so crazy, it might just work. And we worked for a couple of years and then we discovered the team over in the US and then we joined forces and here we are about three years after joining forces with them and um, it's uh, it's finally ready. Nice. It's finally ready. So how, uh, how, when did you start showing this off? Uh, we only finished building this prototype last week. This, really? This, it's, not, uh, it's a minimum viable product. I'm so used to calling them prototypes. Yeah. But this one is actually a product. So we can actually, we're actually taking pre-orders for this as of TechCrunch. It's really cool. I mean, uh, like what, what's going to be the use? So how are people going to use this? The uh, the end game is in gaming. So uh, I want to make one of these in every living room, and it has a unique aspect to the social gaming in that when you look at a TV and and, and play you know a normal console on a TV, uh, you all sit shoulder to shoulder staring at the, at the screen. There's no social aspect to it. But with the Voxy Box, you've actually got that shared social experience as you gather around it and actually interact with it. So people around the table. Yeah. Can see different angles. That's correct, yeah. And see stuff differently. It's, it's really kind of like amazing. What are people saying here? At this oh, it's crap? absolutely blown their minds. It's been fantastic. Lots it's of been, people yeah. checking it out? Yeah, absolutely. So I find this, they've got this really cool image of the word hologram. So if I start that rotating, you can see it says the word hologram from one direction. Yeah. But when you look at it from the other direction, it says boxy box. Nice. So this is awesome. I'd like to see no flickering and a huge table. Yep. Every living room Again, should those, be the table. Th those this are is all the table. things we know how to solve. So we're just waiting on some investment. So, so you, you can have a 4K TV or a projector, but you will also have this in your living room table. Yeah, they're, they're not. Uh, they're complementary technologies. So you know, interfacing it in the broader ecosystem. I mean, I, I love VR. I think VR is awesome. Augmented reality has a huge potential, but this is something entirely new. What could happen, like uh, tapping on a table, yep. touching any sort of user sensors. interface. I mean, uh, we've actually had this working with uh, the emotive EEG brainwave 
um, uh, uh, neural interface, so you can actually control it just by thinking about it. Just thinking, just and thinking. then it starts happening. Yeah. Change the channel, the UI for the channel, you just wipe in front, stuff happens. Yeah. And, uh, but it has to be dark background for it to work, or um, how does it work? Uh, we're doing a bit of user experience testing here. Um, uh, yesterday when we displayed it, we had a, a completely transparent lid um, uh, screen on the top. But uh, with this one, you get a, a better contrast, and it, it really does emphasize the whole magic of it. So especially in a darker environment, or once we get the funding and, and have a brighter projector, this sort of darker enclosure really will make it just pop and just, yeah. What's the price pre-order? Um, we're not releasing that public yet. But, but people can pre-order. They can pre-order. They, they can contact they us and express their interest. So it's going to be an uh, invite-only pre-order. So it's not. Uh, we're only having a very limited number of units, only 200 units um, that we're going to produce. Um, and if there are people are interested, they can get in contact with us. You should make 200 million units. How about, uh, are you, where are you from? I'm from Australia. Australia, and your co-founders also? Co -found, uh, so there's two of us in Australia. And we've got a headquarters here in San Francisco, and then we've got two guys in uh, New York. 